Hi guys, it's Romina. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my third manicure with this new Holotaco collection. This is Electric Hollows and this is kind of a gift wrapping paper design. So I hope you like it and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and let's get started. First, I'm going to apply my base coat. Today I'm using the Peel Off Base Coat from UNT. And as a base color, I'll be using the lightest shade on this collection, Circuit Breaker. And I'll be applying two coats on my middle finger and my ring finger. Next, I'll be using Full Charge, the green shade, for my index. And I'll be applying two coats because it's a little bit sheer. And for the pinky, I'll be using Hot Wire Pink, also with two coats. And for my thumb, I'll be using Hydro Power the aqua shade in two coats too be careful because this shade stain my nails so uh, you have to be careful with the base coat that you're using if you use a pillow base coat try to put another base coat on top just to avoid any stains and for the stamping i'll be using the holy shapes number 18 stamping plate from moyu london with this design i'll be also using the ice cube stamper from maniology and the scraper and if you're thinking about getting some maniology products I will appreciate if you would like to use my code TINY10 for 10% off and I will receive a small commission for that. Now continuing with the stamping, I'll be using Electrostatic which is the black polish in this collection and I'll be using the design that I show you and the pickup is very good, it's not perfect because this is not a stamping polish and some designs work better with a stamping polish. So in this case, I'm just going to start to fill in the lines with the same brush that comes in the bottle. Some people have told me that my last design, the flower that I did with this collection was too complicated, was kind of too small to fill in. So I decided to go with something simpler that you can do with the brush that comes in the bottle. This process is super fast and you're going to have something like this at the end. And to recover the stickiness in my nail, I'll be using the Orly Bonder. So I will apply one coat and let it dry for 30 to 45 seconds. And then I will stamp the design over my nail. So here it is and voila, it looks super good. I really love it. And then with a wooden stick, I'm just going to cut the borders a little bit. And I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this. This one takes a little bit longer and it's kind of messier. But if you have the patience, you can totally do that. Uh, just cut the excess with some scissors and the rest you can just remove it with some tweezers. Then with a cleanup brush, I just clean the borders a little bit just to get those details. Now for my ring finger, I'm going to repeat the same process, but this time the pickup wasn't too strong and I didn't want to do it again. So I just fill in those uh, little holes with the same polish and a detail nail art brush. So when I got the design, the lines ready, I start uh, filling in the lines with the color and I'll be using also the same brush that comes in the bottle. This process is super fast and super easy to do because the brush is kind of the same size that the lines. Uh, and then I'll be applying a little bit of liquid latex around my nail. So this will be like the second option that I'm going to show you. And I apply the only bonder, same as the other finger. But this time it's going to be easier to remove the excess because it's already attached to the liquid latex. So I recommend you to use this one, but I do both. I don't really mind doing the other technique really. And now with a piece of scotch tape, I'm just going to remove the little parts that are left. And with a cleanup brush, I'm just going to smooth out those borders. And here I have my two fingers ready. And for the others, I'm going to do something different. So I'm just going to grab a scotch tape and just remove some of the lines. And I'm just going to leave two of them and I'm going to paint them with the colors that are missing. So if I have the base green, I will use blue and pink just to fill in those lines. And I'm just going to place them in the middle of the nail and then just remove the liquid latex with the excess of the polish. Next, for my pinky nail, I'll be doing the same thing. In this case, I had to fill in those lines first, the black ones, and then I just fill it in with blue and green, and I apply liquid latex and the Orly Bonder, same as the others, and I try to put them in the middle. 
So here's what it looks like after and you have to just clean up the details with a cleanup brush if you have. And here I repeated the process for my thumb. In this case, I filled the lines with green and pink. Now I'll be applying the good to go top coat from Essie. This is gonna smooth out the surface and it's gonna get that really shiny and smooth look. And you can see how the holographic particles really pop when you apply the top coat. And finally, I'll be applying my cuticle oil and this is the result. I really loved it. I think it has a very strong holiday vibes. I love how these colors match together in all the manicures that I've done. They look absolutely gorgeous. You can see here with the flashlight how the holographic particles shine and here are the pictures for this manicure. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!